Hi, welcome. Who you are, you're not just a singular identity. You're not just the body and name with your biology, family, all of that. That's one dimension of you. I have people ask me, Mira, who am I? I just want to know who I am. You know, because the work that I do, um, I'm able to tap in and then you give me the information and it comes through. And uh, <laughs> the who you are in a nutshell is all that is. Many aspects, millions. Uh, but to bring it local, you're an endless being, no beginning, no end. It's not religious, it's not spiritual, it has nothing to do with any of that. This is just the way it is. And uh, to understand the nature of creation, when you come into all of who you are, you come to this understanding from nothing outside the self. It's happening within your being. It's not coming from the brain because the brain doesn't understand consciousness. Consciousness is not inside the brain. And where we're going, science is confused. They're tr trying to figure out if that is the case. And uh, if you look at the limited limitations of science, they're restricted fr from their limitation of understanding of, of nature of reality uh, through just, you have to prove it. it has to be physical, you have to prove it. Uh, the work I do, I do the, I'm the very opposite of the spectrum. <laughs> and the brilliance behind it is it works. Who you are more than human, so much more than you could even imagine. And then some, many, many aspects, many levels of your being. It's like layers. It's like the, it's like the layers on the onion, you know, an onion doesn't have just one layer. So that's you. There's many, there's the surface. Here we are on the surface and you all know that, uh, it's limited. You will eventually leave the body. We're here. It's, it's real, but it's not. It's like life is but a dream, you know, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. It is, but a dream, but it isn't, but it is. It's both more a dream than not. So that's why it can seem very real here. The who, what, when, where, how about the self, that is the human dilemma. That's the human condition. We're all alone here on this, down here on this planet we call Earth. And uh, from my perspective and from what I do, uh, that's just the surface of the book. That's just on the cover. But if you look at a book, there's the cover and then you open the book and then there's the pages and it even has a back. But here in this human life, we seem to just sit on the cover. And so when we say, who am I? I want to know who I am. Some people want to like some fantastical information, like, you know, you're Jesus or, you know, not even that, but uh, some big famous figure, this is what you were and all the other lifetimes doesn't matter. <laughs> it's like that one was the most important one. You find out that you're like, you know, uh, the big, big uh, figure in, uh, in all of in, in history that uh, did all these great fantastical things. Or maybe you were the one that, you know, caused like all these wars or whatever it was. You know, people hold on to that identity. It's like they find out, oh, that's who I am. And I'll stop right there. Maybe I was that ascended master that came to this planet and did that. And I just want to know if I am that. Because I don't have, you know, you may think this, because I don't have any of those memories or recollections of my past lives. I've had people tell me that. Muriel, I don't remember any of my past lives. <laughs> I don't really either. It's like I have the essences and all of that enough for me to be able to write my book and to put that all in there and to be able to talk about this stuff, but they're just storylines, guys. They're not anyway, um, any engagement uh, into what you're doing now the past, present, future, and parallel timelines is called the all at once. It's happening right now. It's all still occurring. So whatever you're doing right now is changing all of them. And so when you say, who am I? Well, that you'll get a multidimensional answer. You'll get many, many, and it will just keep going. And uh, in what you'll come down to and what you'll find is that you are God. And this concept that humans have, it's a concept. Concepts are mental. When you know really truly the knowing without knowing, it's a sense. It goes beyond feelings. You don't feel it, although we use the words feel it. That's okay. Go with me here. 
You don't feel it because feelings are through emotions or which are a byproduct of thoughts. But senses is the soul, is the soul knowing, you know, that intuitive knowing, you just know what to do, um, all of that. It's just that knowing without knowing with the brain. And the brain, again, is there to set up to keep you safe. It was always there just to look around the corner, just to make sure that uh, you got everything to keep you safe. It can solve math problems and all that stuff. Uh, you don't even need it driving. Drive less, to drive more, think less, that thing. You know what's ha going to happen in the car, the person in front of you when you're driving. That, that intuitive knowing. But this knowing without knowing is beyond even the intuitive. The intuitive is more local. So that's why people have a hard time with this because it is such a subtle sensation. The soul just knows <laughs> until you'll find yourself just moving. The human will just keep just be moving and you won't know. And you'll find out after I was navigating that way for the past few years. And I actually on my YouTube channel too, I have a video of navigating with the master sense on there and that's what that's about. And so that's, uh, I started doing that a few years back and it's fairly new to me, right? But I will, I'll be going along and then all of a sudden I'll find out later why I did that thing, what I was doing for the past three weeks or three months or whatever it was. Um, and so again, the soul knows where to go. It's just moving us. We're moving more on divine will, which is the soul movement of our being, than free will, which is the human doing whatever it wants without going and listening to the inner voice, that soul voice. And even if it's not a voice, because not everybody has a soul voice, not everybody can hear that voice. It could come in any kind of way, in any of the five senses. We have a limitation of five senses as a human being. And there are many hundreds, thousands of other senses in the spirit world. And we can utilize the five senses to go through, say, this, the, the smell sense or the hearing sense. You can use the hearing sense as a portal to go through to get to all the other senses. It's quite amazing. This is quantum mechanics. This is quantum living. And, and we're not talking science. I'm a quantum mechanic, meaning I tinker like um, a mechanic does with a car. I tinker with the uh, mechanics of um, the light bodies, the, the ne light network frequencies of consciousness and how it holds with the physical together, all working together. And so we're changing the frequency, we're upgrading them in order for the carbon body to, uh, to be able to um, withstand it, uh, to stay alive and healthy in this in this realm in this in this uh, dimension so that's what the frequencies are doing so when we say who you are it's uh it's there's many dimensions there's many dimensions to you so uh you know even from the highest of like we say i am god it's not god too it's you are god and uh then there's the ones that there's the archangels that create that help create all of creation and then there's they never took physical uh, and then there's the higher frequencies, the ascended masters, all of that. And, you know, all these high beings of light, big beings of light, the Elohim, uh, all of them. And then down here in this vicinity um, of spirit, then we have this, of uh, the universes and physical creation and all this. Layers. You are all of that. Your aspects of the, the archangels, your aspects of uh, the ascended masters, your aspects of all of that. All of we all are. And uh, when you get down to it, you can say, well, aren't we all one, this big unity consciousness? Well, yes and no. Uh, more no now than yes. What that means is that we're moving away from the unity into our own sovereign unity. So, uh, you know, um, very provocative here, and I don't share this much because it's so new and you don't really need to talk about it, but I do... Uh, help assist those who come to me. Some of them, uh, you know, were Yeshua, and uh, and some of them check that not just one. There's many. Some of them uh, were Saint Germain, or uh, you know, uh, some of them were Latsu, uh, and so um, it goes on and on. Those are just the big names. Go with me here, um, because we're projections of from a soul group projections, and this is human body here. So there's many. Uh, Jesus Christ that are walking the planet right now, female and male. Uh, and we all look the same, so you can't tell. And of course, everybody is expecting to look at that image that we have of Jesus Christ to come back. Jesus is back now. He's coming back. In the year 2000, never came. 
10 came, now it's 20. Uh, what was being said here is that uh, Yeshua has come back and all the ascended masters, we are here and I'm one of them too and I help to um, ascend uh, Yeshua uh, at the time of that happening 2,000 years ago um, into in his enlightenment. So, uh, and that's what I was saying um, in my other video, I don't know if I mentioned here, but being the big kahuna in the Polynesian culture, a uh, big kahuna is the chief meaning that you are the big one of, you know, doing, doing the big, uh, major stuff in, in creation, uh, handling the big, uh, changes of the frequencies. You have to be, uh, uh, energetically set up a certain way to do this work. And so it took me a lot to get into this and I spent a, a good 10 years to come into doing this work and to be upgraded. I had to leave uh, society leave everything in order to do what I'm doing now so uh, yeah it takes a little bit to do this but uh, and very unique but the whole being of you being who you are I want to know who I was in a past life I want to know who, if I was fantastical if I did all these great things you are that's what's being said here I don't know what's more fantastic look fantastical than being God <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, so you just take that on and uh, you breathe it through. Really, there's no identity because what we do is when we say, I want to know who I am, you're trying to reach for an identity. And uh, when you say, I am that I am, it's more of the space at the end of the last letter of the word of the sentence and before the period. So there's no thing there, no thing. So no thing, no identity. And that's hard for the brain. Again, the brain runs the show. The brain wants to know. That's all it is. And you step outside of the brain and there's all of who you are, all the rest. And it's quite silence. There's spaciousness. There's silence. There's silence. And that, my friend, is where you will find you. Thank you for joining me here. Namaste.